Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about what's happening with Fallout 4's Creation Club and will it be getting any new updates and the, basically the answer of what's happening with Creation Club is it will be getting updates but just at a very slow pace. Now I know a lot of people really like Creation Club and some of the YouTubers most popular Fallout videos are actually the Creation Club ones, myself included, and I definitely love the Creation Club, you know, things added to Fallout 4. I definitely like the story that it gives and just new weapons and stuff like that it adds into the game. It's just like, you know, some more DLC really, just mini DLC that they add into the game and some of the best parts about it is when you get these new guns from the Creation Club, it, you know, adds it into, um, you know, just some vendors around the place and you can, you know, find a random loot spots. And I just, I just think that is really, really cool to see. It just really adds more into the game. And of course, you're really supporting um, mod creators all across the world, all, you know, the mod creators making the Creation Club, you know, creation. So I think it is, you know, a very good idea on what Bethesda have done. And it's just really coming at a slow pace. And I don't know if I really like that too much. I mean, they just released the new Creation Club updates, and it was like, I think it's been three months since we got the last one, and what it seems to be like is Bethesda is going to be updating Creation Club every three months or so, and adding, you know, multiple new creations that are coming with it, but I think what they should do is, if they're going to update it every three months, they only gave us three new creations this time, and although it gave me about three hours, maybe even a little bit more of some gameplay, I think adding maybe five to six would definitely be a lot more ideal, and just some even smaller ones here and there as well. Basically, we actually have got some new um, images or some of the new stuff they're adding, and basically some of the stuff they're adding is actually these new vault suits, where you can basically customize the color of what they look like and even, you know, even change the number on the back of what they look like. It seems that you'll be getting the standard Fallout 4 Volt suit and even the Fallout 3 Volt suit, which I think is another really awesome touch they're adding into the game. I think the fact that we've already gotten a sneak peek of some stuff that we might be getting in the next three months or so is definitely a really good start. And I mean... The problem with the last Creation Club was we never really knew if we were going to get anything at all. I mean, did we even get a sneak peek with the last one that came out like three months ago? I don't think we even did, but this one, it seems to be that Bethesda are really, you know, give, giving us a sneak peek on, you know, what to expect. And yeah, they have gone into a little bit more detail with it. But I think the problem is, it's just weird because Fallout 76, it's getting a lot better, but it's not like these Fallout 4 creations aren't, you know, successful. And... I don't think they're really taking away from people playing Fallout 76. I mean, people that play Fallout 4 Creation Club, most of them play Fallout 76 anyway. So, I don't think it's really taking away from there. And I think if they're going to release creations every now and then, it's not like it's a bad idea. And again, it's not really taking away players from Fallout 76 at all. And there's also the other thing I want to talk about. There's a massive rumor going around that Fallout 76 is actually going to be getting a Creation Club to it, which... I think is also a really good idea because then we'll have the Atomic Shop where it'll be Bethesda's personal thing where they can add all this type of new stuff. And then the Creation Club can be things that mod creators can add. I think that is an absolutely awesome idea when, you know, uh, mods come around at, you know, the end of the year or whenever they're going to be adding them to, you know, the Bethesda website and all that type of stuff. Then they can maybe move on and add, you know, the Creation Club to it as well. I think it's a really good idea, but... It has been confirmed before that Creation Club's only going to be cosmetics items only, and then they kind of broke that with releasing some new, uh, you know, pay-to-win things, which is not really that bad, the pay-to-win stuff that we got, and I don't even know if you can really call it that much pay-to-win, but, I mean, in, in a way, Bethesda sh still shouldn't have added it to the game, but they also added stuff like terminal, this terminal free thing, you know, like a free terminal and stuff like that, which also is not really, I don't think, cosmetics items, so... I think what they could potentially do is add all that type of stuff into the creation club where, you know, mod creators could potentially make new items and add it to the game. But yet again, that could also be controversy, you know, controversy because really that should, Bethesda should be adding that into the game for free. But yeah, I don't really know what they're going to do here. I think the mod, you know, the creation club creators got to be definitely very careful. And I think Bethesda are going to have to be definitely really careful on how they go about it. But I just really hope Bethesda speed up how many mods we get for the Creation Club. It's not like mod creators don't want to make anything for the Creation Club at all. I'm sure there's so many mod creators that Bethesda haven't hired yet that they could make a sweet deal with. And they'd be happy to put their mods on Creation Club. 
And yeah, I just think it'd be really cool. And a lot of people still play Fallout 4. And I think a lot of people still play Creation Club. And probably a lot more than what Bethesda actually think do. So I kind of really hope we get some more Creation Club news in the future. And maybe some more, um, you know, more creations coming to it. And I wouldn't mind a Creation Club coming to Fallout 76 as well. As long as, you know, Bethesda handle it and do it. You know, just manage it well. I just, I, I don't know. It's just really hard to see what they'd really do with a creation club coming to Fallout 76 as if they were to add items on that, they should pretty much be coming free to the game anyway. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest Fallout and gaming content. Don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. If you guys play Fallout 4's Creation Club, what do you guys think about a Creation Club potentially become, you know, coming to Fallout 76? And do you guys think that says this should keep updating Creation Club? I definitely would really like to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. So yeah, don't forget um, to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.